Hi Pisces, welcome to your November tarot forecast with me. This is Brooke. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me. This is your general reading for November 2018. Pisces, Pisces in the house. Pisces, you killed it in October and you brought yourselves back. You back on top. OG, OG in the house, Pisces, <laughs> because I was like, Pisces, you used to be number one. What happened? And you're like, Oh, hell no. And all of you were like, Psh. <laughs> you pushed the Libras out of the way. Congratulations. <laughs> so Pisces, I'm here and uh, I've already pre-shuffled. We're going to lay them out together and see what's in store for you for November. I hope you had a great month in October and please make sure to watch Sun, Moon, Rising as always in this video. So let's check it out for the month Pisces what's a happening for you hmm hmm mm hmm hold on mm hmm mm hmm I'm just gonna keep pulling cards mm hmm so we start off with a court card Pisces we have the king of Pentacles so this month is very much centered around business. This also could be finances, property, real estate. Uh, if you're a business owner, if you're self-employed, if you're a supervisor, manager, CEO. So this is very much about being in control and command or focus upon your money. We also could be focused upon an earth sign as well, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. But he's like the mastermind of finances and money so the focus is there upon so we're coming out of october with the ten of pentacles and the ace of cups there may have been a new cycle for you emotionally when it comes to family or family money or family legacy or business family business as well property assets perhaps being transferred down to you uh, anything that Pisces may have accrued in the month of October. Also a new cycle emotionally when it comes to stability in the family home or creating stability. So there's been some sort of new cycle opening up for Pisces on an emotional level where there's been an exchange or maybe there was a reconciliation in October or maybe there was a reparation of a relationship, perhaps in the family, in the immediate family, surrounding the family home, also dealing with legacy. When I see the Ten of Pentacles, this is legacy. What do you want to leave for your children, for your grandchildren, thinking about your future, okay? So something wrapped up in that for Pisces. This may also be the current feeling going into the month of November. Here we come in next with the High Priestess, next to Sun. So, out of the most recent past, October may have been a really good month for Pisces. Uh, also, there may have been some elements that were left a bit uh, undiscussed or a mystery to them. Okay, there also could have been potentials or moments of good times, happiness, success, where you might might have been like, where's this coming from? I'm kind of surprised. I feel that was a cat. I feel that for Pisces, even going into the month of November, things may surprise you. Uh, people may be nicer to you. Uh, people that you thought perhaps were not really uh, concerned about you or felt that you were or you felt that you were not really connecting with, uh, they're jibing with you. Okay, so there's this element of mystery attached to this. Go with it. Okay, trust your intuition because sometimes we get so caught up in our own heads <laughs> and we think, Oh, uh, well, they don't really care. Or they're not thinking of me or, oh, I'm sure I never crossed their minds or oh, I don't think they like me when that's just really our ego and our own insecurities. 
And I think for the month of November, Pisces, you're going to be uh, pleasantly surprised. Okay. And I also think that it's going to extend or give Pisces or enable Pisces the ability to uh, be very accepting of this coming from other people. So the Sun card is kind of a community feeling or coming from other people or sharing that moment with them. Okay. So also this also could be generated from your own family if there's been estrangement or if there's been dynamics in the family and this could have a lot to do with money for Pisces as well so here we come in next with the five of wands next to the eight of wands be expected that or expect perhaps this month something that may come in very quickly that may be a bit uh, out of the blue where there's other people that may be verbally quarreling or having a verbal attack with one another and I have a feeling for Pisces this is not just centered on you they're not coming after you this is coming after different people so going back to the family again okay uh, you may find yourself in the middle of this you may find yourself on on between a rock and a hard place between two people you may find yourself in a group this could be family this could be at work uh where you're just kind of like dodging bullets and trying to stay out of it you know trying to stay in your own lane this may come very much out of the blue this could be a phone call a text email some type of communication coming in where other people are just kind of having it out, you know. So the breaking point comes this month, I think, where some things are released for Pisces. Some things are just finally said. <laughs> you know, I finally said it. Uh, no matter what the price or the cost is, there seems to be a need for Pisces to let it out or to express yourselves or to let the other person know how you feel because you've been holding it in for so long and once again it could be surrounding this person it also could be surrounding uh financial arguments arguments about finances money something centered around property assets splitting up assets splitting up property okay so just be on the lookout for that. That doesn't necessarily mean there's going to be a huge blowout, but there's some sort of contentiousness to do with something that many people feel very passionate about in November. Here we come in with the Three of Cups, okay, next to the Two of Swords. So this tells me this could be even involvement of siblings, sisters. Uh, this also could be involvement of anything where there is something that you're celebrating if you're attending a family event birthday party anniversary thanksgiving holiday gathering something is to be celebrated and something is totally like the elephant in the room <laughs> so the two of swords is kind of like i'm just gonna stay over here <laughs> and not say nothing and pretend like nothing is happening. So you may feel once again, being kind of caught up in this uh, moment of, I just don't wanna get involved in this, I'm gonna stay in my other lane. So if there's protagonists at play this month for Pisces, I don't feel that it's you, I feel that it's coming at you or not necessarily at you, but from other people, towards other people but then you're kind of brought into it whatever this dynamic is and it could be involving more than one person again you have an element of indecision or also this stalemate position of not wanting to even think about it speak about it make a move about it okay so try not to get caught up or to get yourself trapped I think the messages for Pisces is to really kind of go back to love. Go back to the foundations and the roots of a relationship or a family matter or family 
dynamic of what's truly important. There seems to be too much focused upon uh, material things or physical things this month that's operating on a different level that Pisces does not want to deal with. Pisces would rather uh, discuss more important things. This, this stuff about money and family and people fighting about the money or people fighting about the property or people fighting about what's mine and what's yours. This also could be not just fighting over things, but long-standing resentment, long-standing grudges, long-standing conversations that were never discussed or that you've never had with someone. You still may feel that you're not comfortable or you're not ready to have these conversations, okay? So do not become blindfolded to what's going on. You see it. Pisces has a, an innate ability to really see through a person and, and see through a person's motive as well as their intentions, okay? Pisces is very good about that. So you see what's going on. Other people may not see what's going on, but you know what's, you know what's up. And so try not to be, uh, I mean, you can have a lot of fun with someone who is creating uh, chaos and drama um, because you're kind of bouncing off that energy, but try not to let that chaos and drama enter your sacred space, enter your life, enter your circle, okay? Especially if it's something that's close to home or something that's very personal. So here we come in with temperance. So this tells me that this month for Pisces, moderation is key, okay? Moderation is key in anything that you do. Also, there is a possibility of restoring harmony, of restoring balance, uh, holidays kind of make people nuts, okay? <laughs> they do. There's a lot of stress around the holiday season. So restoring balance of some kind for Pisces, cooperation, and understanding that everybody is different and embracing that diversity. And Pisces is very open to diversity, okay? Other people may not be that open to your diversity, okay? Especially if you are in biracial relationships, or especially if you come from another culture or background, especially if you are, uh, you know, not in a straight lace, straight relationship, and you happen to be, uh, you know, LBGTQA, okay, some people are just not down with that, but there's something that's coming up for Pisces of owning up to who you are, embracing who you are, owning it this month, and not apologizing for it. And if anybody wants to pretend that it's not happening, poof. <laughs> poof, honest to God, because <clears throat> somebody kind of seems to be holding on to the golden goose, so to speak. They're just not like willing to accept Pisces for who you are, willing to accept Pisces for what you have. They may be holding back from you for some reason. So there is this element of control. There's also this element of financial control. Whether this is in a relationship that you're in, family relationships, work relationships, sibling relationships, okay? However it factors in for Pisces, somebody's holding back. They don't want you to have or want you to know perhaps what you have or what they have. Okay, somebody's holding back, but the message is the ability to have harmony and cooperation is all about acceptance. You accepting them for who they are, no matter how different. Them accepting you for who you are, no matter how different. Okay, so something's afoot in terms of family dynamics. And do not, if you come up against this, get pulled into other people's stuff, but also don't be the one that just kind of quietly sits in the corner and pretends like nothing's going on because it's not going to change. So the message is the ability to go forward and to change. So here we come in with the Knight of Cups. 
next to the Four of Wands. So Four of Wands tells me home. This is very much surrounding the home. Knight of Cups is an emotional offering is coming to Pisces this month. This may be an emotional offering of, hey, let's have lunch, let's get together, or hey, let's talk. Somebody's expressing support and love to you this month, so expect that. This is direction. Somebody's coming, coming in. This could be very close to home. Okay, this isn't like a long distance, you know, mysterious man appears <laughs> and you fall in love. I mean, it's not like Casablanca. This is like somebody's coming in, friend, family member, partner. Someone's coming in to offer Pisces emotional support. I want to help you. Be willing to accept that. Be willing to accept that because you've taken on the burden. You've carried this weight of family uh, family grudges, family resentment, resentment in, in the workplace, even in your immediate home life of carrying the weight, carrying the burden. Someone's coming to help you lift that weight this month, Pisces. So here we come in next with another court card, the King of Cups. Pisces, this could be you. Okay, water sign. This also could be Scorpio Cancer, but the King of Cups is someone who is <clears throat> fun-loving, offering you emotional support, be, being the best person for you this month, being the best person for you, also wanting to see you be the best person or be the best version of you this month, okay, with the King of Cups. He's very intuitive as well. And here we end with strength. So strength archetype is Leo. We could be dealing with Leo this month as well. But this tells me that November is a very important month for you to reestablish relationships, to reestablish harmony, to reestablish cooperation, to kind of look at things head on, to have discussions openly and honestly with other people, and to really go down deep into that Pisces well of survival tactics, which Pisces really much has. And that you can tap into to help you in this situation. Do not be surprised if you get a phone call and you're pulled into someone's drama. Or at the same time, someone is also helping to offer you help or emotional support as well. This could be you for other people. So just keep that in mind. There seems to be uh, something centering around home, family, father energy for Pisces, a kind of patriarchal energy for Pisces, money, family money, okay, ancestry, legacy, and dealing with different people this month. So good luck to you, Pisces. Keep me posted. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my website below and my social media. Have a blessed November and take care and I'll speak to you soon.